Fleur East, 35, wept with emotion when she discovered she'd be part of the Strictly Come Dancing 2022 final, which takes place this evening. However, dance ace James Jordan addressed her chances in his latest column with Wyfola, claiming that has unsure she has what it takes. Despite acknowledging he felt she was a really, really good dancer, James added, there's something about the way she dances I can't warm to. He continued in his column for Hello! Magazine, I'm not sure if it's the fact she's too aggressive with her movements, or she lacks softness in her spine, or that she's too staccato at times. I just can't put my finger on it. She's doing a fantastic job, but she hasn't been consistent enough. Meanwhile, Wyfola echoed his reservations, admitting that Shed expected to see Fleur in the bottom too. Throughout the competition, the former X Factor star has desperately clung on in the hopes of reaching the final. She has been in the dance-off no fewer than four times, but has always made it back from the brink. The radio DJ also has a loyal army of supporters, who reacted furiously when head judge Shirley Ballas recently critiqued her performance Fleur has also had some deeply emotional moments on the show, including fulfilling her childhood dream to appear on stage as Ariel from The Little Mermaid. James also addressed the singer's dance-off competitor Will Miller, who was voted out last week, branding his performance atrocious. His gape work was so bad I would've got rid of it from the choreography if he was my dancer, the pro continued in his column. Meanwhile, he wrote a scathing criticism of Will's couple's choice performance on Twitter, declaring it dad dancing. Ola retorted that there was nothing wrong with dad dancing, reminding him that he himself was a father, too. James then conceded that he didn't believe he could have done a better job than Will himself on that particular dance, even as a seasoned professional. Meanwhile, Fleur remains in the competition and will be hoping to win the trophy in her father's memory, after he tragically died back in 2020 during the lockdown. Malcolm, who suffered a heart attack, had been a passionate follower of the show. The Saturday Night Takeaway star previously marked the March 21st anniversary of her father's death with a speech on Instagram explaining how much head meant to her. It still just doesn't feel real. I never imagined life without you in it and now you're gone. I really know how truly rich it was because of you, she wrote in view of her followers. What an incredible father you were. I am so blessed to have had your love, your guidance and your experience to learn and grow from. My number one fan who taught me how to be an independent, confident woman and I will live my life making you proud. Sick, with everything left to play for, fans can tune in tonight to see who will be the triumphant winner of the much-coveted Glitterball trophy.